What up, YouTube? This is Getty Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, WAC 100 is addressing the Nipsey Hustle tape once again, and he says that he has actually been preventing that tape from emerging and touching the internet by paying the alleged man that is participating in the tape, stopping him from dropping snippets. And he also lists his sentiments about Nipsey Hustle, and he talks about the tumultuous relationship that Nipsey Hustle had with Big U. It gets interesting. I'm gonna let y'all get to it. Shout out to Ray Give TV. Shout out to WAC 100 Beast and Dangerous Minds. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. All right. What's up, homie? Hey, what? <laughs> hey, man. I got a question for you, bro. What up? Uh, the net footage and all that type of shit, right? Yep. The hey, man so. just called. He out here actually right now. I got to take him. Oh, some yeah. Word about it. Yep. Hey, yep. look, look. All right. So it sounds like it's already going to come out because the question that I had was why I never I mean, I've been, stop I've, been st I've been stopping yeah. it from coming out. Oh, oh yeah, but not not just you, but it's somebody else from that other side that's nah, no, the, not to put it out. No, no. Nah, I've been, well, no. The main nigga from the other side wanted me to put it out. That's the crazy. Look, this is why I look at motherfuckers crazy. Because I know the truth, right? I'm like, yo, this nigga over here saying this. You was in my backyard with me and my homeboy telling me, nah, let that go. Because the person in it, I'm going to take that and... Put it in the other motherfucker face and she don't want to do business with me she will and we're gonna make her the first lady right we gonna make it look like he was never loyal to you anyway this was crazy right so when i be seeing shit, and i be like yo this world is a real grimy gloomy up place because you have no idea when you dancing with the devil but when i see that kind of shit, i say well if that's supposed to be that, and because of that association affiliation, right, that's supposed to act this way towards that, but that's doing that, who the fuck am I? Bag up, whack, get it out your world. Hey, well, I'm going to just say one thing, because ain't, ain't nobody from that side never... Really and Maxie, homie, you think I'm praying, watch this. Yo, um, see, one thing about whack, watch this shit, watch this. I'm going to fuck you up. Hey. Hold on. Wait, hey. wait, no, watch this. One uh, last thing, hey, wait, anybody, wait, wait. anybody who got their girl or their wife and they picture and all that shit and hold on. your feelings, don't post her. <laughs> hold on, hold on, bro. Hey, look, I'm going to show you something how real I am, right? Because just be always questioning and all this shit. Now, I want you to pay attention to the motherfucking date of what I'm about to post. Oh, nah, it's real. Hold on. Wait, it's wait, 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 sure. wait, 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 wait. Wait, look at that. My man say he low on money. What'd he say? What did he say about nigga in the gray? No, no, hey. No, 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 no. Call no, that. No, no, no. What did he say? What did he say? He said I'm about to what? Wait, wait. Hold on. What that say in the gray? See, I always thought, you know, relationship. No, what does that say in the gray? You know, I'm about to drop a snippet. Right? He's trying, to, he's trying to look for mm -hmm. you, but he don't know where you at. Yeah, where you at? Where you at? Oh, it's, white. Say it's gonna be white. An all white circle. One, two, three, four, five, fifth row down, dead center. Oh, there you go. What that say in the gray? You see the date, right? Mm hmm What'd he say? I I nigga said I'm about to drop this snippet. Yeah, see, hey, look, see, that's the thing though. It's real. I told him I'm it's, flying it's, it's back. Real. You know what I had to fly back and do, homie? Give him a bag. For the 30th 
majority of time, don't do that. What you need, don't do that, bro. Now, I have heard WAC 100 talk about this tape over and over and over again, and I've never heard this detail. It seems like the more WAC 100 speaks about some of these things, man, he's bringing out more details. So he does have a little bit in him where he tries to hold back. He don't spill it all out. He don't let it all hang out. He's going to hold back a little bit of info, some intricate details. But as the conversation progresses and if things keep going on, he's going to release more and more details about the situation and his story never changes man he's saying the same things over and over now he just added another layer and did y'all hear in the beginning part of this audio he said the dude is out there on the west coast right now and he's got to go take him some money now we already know what that money's for because wack 100 has already said he's giving him a bag to keep him from dropping that tape man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man let's get back to it yeah, nah, like, hey, like I said, trust me. I never seen it one. Man, that's you crazy. Know, I never saw it, but I know it's real because it's from that side never said it wasn't. But my whole thing is like, <laughs> damn, I, I wonder why Nick would, I, I wonder why Wack never put it out because Game and him was so close or, you know, out of respect for that or this, that. You want to really know? Me and also, Nip was never, me and Nip, listen, me and Nip was never enemies, bro. Me and Nip talked on the phone when I wanted to call him, I called him. When he wanted to call me, he called me. The only time we was at odds is when Big U went over there and knocked him out and they whooped his brother ass and they went to jail and I belt one of them niggas out and Nip said, Whack, you stand on the side with him. So the whole time they was at odds, I was guilty to affiliation or to association. So it was me because I was fucking with him. So when they got back right, actually, I'm lying. Before they got back right, I ran into him at Platinum. I wish K Slay was alive. Platinum Motorsports. Yep. And he said, Whack, we need to holly. He by himself. I'm by myself on Melrose. He up here in his Maybach. I'm in the Rose. Right? I, he said, Whack, what's your real problem with me? This You shouldn't be in 60 business. I said, I ain't 60 business. That's y'all business. My blew the story up, uh, hold on. My, story up, I said, right. my problem with you is this. There's no Jay Stone around. It's just me and Nip, right? My problem yeah, with you is this. Though, look, up, look, I said, my problem with you is this, homie. When you was nobody, you niggas called on me because you didn't have New York radio. I called my brother K Slay. He brought you to his show three, four times. He spun your motherfucking music on Hot, Hot 97, Shade 45. He took your shit to the strip clubs, blew your shit up on the East, did he not? Yeah, Slay asked for a verse. You say you gonna give it to him. You took two months. Within that two months, you got into it with Big U. And it's because you got into it with Big U, you said F K Slay verse. But you wasn't on New York radio because of Big U. You was on New York radio because Wack asked Slay to do so. So you got me looking crazy. He said, Wack, call Slay. I owe him an apology. I called Slay right on the spot. He got on the phone, told Slay. He right there with me. I was right. Send the shit he gonna lay. That was my issue with And ever since that day, he gave me his number. We was back online. I don't know all these other niggas, bro. I just know him. I don't know Jay Stone, all these niggas. I don't know these niggas. Bro, every time I talk to Nip, it was whack and nip. Or whack nipping game. Or or whack nipping big you. And that was very few times. I got more conversations one on one than anything. So what I'm saying is that man wasn't my enemy. And on the flip side, he do have kids. And on the flip side, Crip Blood, a Paru and different, he a West Coast. So that's why I've been stopping it from coming out. So, right, what, what's the issue with this dude? Like, like, does he want to back? Like, what's his issue? I mean, you know, hey, I mean, the cold part about it, I can't front. It's a, it, he really got consent to do what he want with it, on it, like verbally. So it's like, ain't no stopping it. Um, you know, he a regular nigga, he ain't no gang member. <laughs> It is what it is, bro. It's, it's you know, um, you know, hey, my nigga, hey, the, the money is evil, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
Cause from I didn't stop. I didn't stop some big deals, bro. Just running overseas. You know they buy this for their own entertainment. Million, two million, three million, and all this type of. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't stop it. It's real facts. I've stopped it. They know I've stopped it. So, Nigga, if I was on some, it would have been out. That don't benefit me. That coming out. I don't want to see his children being plagued when they start to go to school with B and T. I think he might have a daughter of age already. Huh? All that old shit like that. And I'm gonna keep it gangster. I feel you, what? Nip is West Coast, so I'm not trying to take the nigga down. I'm his torch help this shit out here. Be visual, homie. I'm a West Coast. I don't give a f where nigga from, homie. I'm not a gang banger. I'm from Paru to death. That's going to always be my association affiliation. I can't denounce and deny that. But I'm not a gangbanger. I don't hate Crips and niggas in blue and niggas in orange and all that type of shit. I, that's not what I do, homie. Period. So I don't have no... Even if that's what it was, niggas know. When it when, when it's on with whack, I'm exposing. I'm exposing at the highest level. All right, we're going to leave it right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100 says he's been protecting Nipsey Hussle the entire time where everybody's thinking he's on some trifling stuff. It really wasn't Wack 100 that exposed that Nipsey Hussle had an alleged sex tape. It was Hassan Campbell, right? Even though Wack 100 was on the phone speaking to him about the sex tape, whatever the case may be. Now, you can make out of that whatever you will, but he did never come out in public and say anything about Nipsey Hussle having a sex tape. The only thing he's ever said about Nipsey Hussle publicly is that he wasn't a musical legend. Says Nipsey Hussle did not have the body of work, the legacy, the time put in, the Grammys, the awards, whatever the case may be, the blood, sweat, and tears that the Tupac Shakur's and all of the greats of our time, the ice cubes and things of that nature have put into the rap game to become certified legends. That's the only thing that Wapper Hunter has ever said about Nipsey Hussle publicly man now a lot of people would look at that as a disparaging statement he's just speaking his truth that's not disrespectful to say that about somebody just because they're no longer with us right but how do y'all feel about white behind saying he's been paying money to keep that tape under wraps man the dude that got the tape has been wanting to come out and put that thing out and whack behind says he's done put a bag in this man's hand several times to prevent that tape from coming out why because he sees nipsey hustle as a very important piece when it comes to the west coast he sees nipsey hustle as a father and he's thinking about his children and how they're going to respond to their friends and family or whomever the case may be especially school age children we know how cruel school age children can be he's thinking about the man's children if a sex tape were to come out about him it's going to be all over the world it's going to be all over the blogs and his children may bear to suffer do the teasing of other children at school man i can respect the fact that the man is really thinking about other things other than trying to go viral other things other than trying to make money off of this thing he's thinking about the man as a human being you gotta respect that man you really do now how do y'all feel about this man do you agree with whack 100 or do you agree with big you that the tape should be put out do you agree with the gentleman that's allegedly in the tape with nipsey hustle and his old lady right the former old lady not lauren london the former old lady not not Lauren London, let me make that clear, right? Do you think that he's justified in trying to put it out? Do you think that it should be out? And if this alleged tape just so happened to hit the internet, do you think that this will negatively affect Nipsey Hussle's legacy as far as hip hop is concerned? Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section, man. This has been Getty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.